That's one of the reasons why I like this bike so much is because it is small, it is convenient, and I can really take care of it the way a bicycle needs to be taken care of. I don't have a place where I can go outside and take a garden hose and really do a good cleaning of this bicycle. So I have to do it inside my apartment without getting my floor and everything all dirty. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Now I'm sitting here on the floor in my quasi living room and I'm gonna show you a couple of the things that you're gonna need when you bring your bicycle in and a couple of the cleaning products and a couple of the uh, items that I use when I'm cleaning my bicycle. First thing you're gonna need is like a tub. I use this particular tub because it's flat, it's long. You can use a bigger tub, something like a taller tub if you want to, but the problem with that is is that you can't unfold the bike if you wanna unfold the bike a little bit to be able to get in those hard to reach spots. Now what I do is I set this down right on the floor, like right here. And then I will set the Brompton inside this little container right here. And um, then I can clean it off and not have to worry about any of that uh, grime or dirt or grease or whatever getting on my uh, floor. Now I could go into the bathroom and do this in the bathtub, and I have done that before, but some people would probably not want to wash their bicycle in the bathtub, depending on how nice your bathtub is. It's very possible that, you know, it'll get really, really scuzzy after a while, you know, after a couple months of cleaning your Brompton in the bathtub. It's possible that it could stain your bathtub. So a lot of people don't, a lot of people wouldn't like that. So I recommend this method, just buying yourself a tub and uh, you need some sort of way to get your Brompton wet. Um, what I use is a pressure sprayer, um, but you can use like a watering can or even a pitcher or any way to pour water onto your bicycle. Um, any way works, but um, I prefer like the, the little pressure washer and I'm gonna show you which pressure washer that I actually use. Now the product that I actually recommend is called a Helio Pressure Shower. It is actually a piece of camping equipment. I didn't buy it for that purpose, I actually bought it for the purpose of cleaning my bicycles, but it's nice to have a dual use out of it. If I go camping up in the mountains or whatever, it's nice that I can probably bring something like this along and have a, like a little pressure shower. But this is what it looks like. Now, you fill it up with water and I've got it halfway full right now. And then what you do is you close the little cap right here. And then you press this. With your foot. And you pressurize the uh, the pump and then it's got a little sprayer like right here and this is what you would use to spray off the bicycle itself and if you want a little more pressure just pump it up a little bit uh, And then the, obviously the water will come out at a, a greater force. Now what you're going to want to do is put some sort of towel on the floor. Um, it is better to do this in the bathroom. But like I said, it's very it's, if you're very limited on space or you don't want to put the bicycle in your bathtub, then this, this method works too. You just might want to put some towels around here to catch any overspray of water. But what I do is I fully wet the bicycle down and get it nice and wet before I start actually doing my cleaning. 
unfold the latch and uh, lift this thing up a little bit. This way you can unfold certain elements of the bicycle if you need to, like if you need to separate these wheels a little bit. What I do is I'll unfold the, the handlebars and fold it up and get it in this position right here. This way, if I have to separate the halves a little bit and uh, get in between the wheels here and stuff, I can do that fairly easily. Now I can finish wetting this thing down. You can actually use uh, any kind of soap you want to wash your bicycle with. I just use your regular dishwashing liquid because it's very good on grease and it'll help uh, degrease the bicycle a little bit and it helps clean, but you can use whatever you want. But here I can, you know, wash the bicycle down with some soap. I could uh, clean between the spokes. I can take my time and really get into all these little crevices. If I need to get on the other side of this between the sandwich, all I have to do is just lift up on this whole thing like this and just separate the halves slightly. And uh, then I can get in here and I can clean the you know, other wheel or the inside of that wheel. Make sure I get everything all nice and uh, soaked up. Make sure I try to get in between the brake levers and get in the tires and just all those little, you know, little hard to reach spots, you know? That's why I use a real thin rag and just kind of soap it up and get in there and clean. See, it makes it so much nicer because like I said, you can do this in the middle of your apartment, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, wherever you need to, you know, put your bicycle in your apartment. And you've got a little pressure sprayer to kind of spray off your bicycle. You have your soap and water to give the bike a thorough cleaning. And like I am, I'm sitting here in my living room just cleaning and taking my time with it. You can also watch it. TV show or something if you want to why you're doing it to make the time pass further but regardless of anything man it's that's one of the reasons why I like this bike so much is because it is small it is convenient and I can really take care of it the way a bicycle needs to be taken care of I find with my other bicycles and stuff that they don't get cleaned as much because I have to end up taking them to a, a car wash or something like that and they just don't get cleaned as often as they should we're going to give the chain a thorough cleaning as well and i'm going to show you what products that i use to help clean the chain up but the main thing is to get the bicycle all the way clean and then spray it off and get the chain clean i'm going to finish up and then i'm going to show you how to take care of your chain on your brompton bicycle okay guys so i've got the bike sprayed off i uh didn't do as great of a job thoroughly cleaning this thing as I would have liked to, but in the interest of saving time, I'm just kind of doing a uh, quick half-ass job. My best half-ass job, by the way. So um, after you get your bicycle sprayed off and stuff, you might want to put it in this position right here, the park position, and put a towel on the floor so you know nothing will drip onto your floor or whatever. You could definitely easily put the uh, wheel into this whole bin here um, and and spray it off in this position in the in the park position it'll definitely fit in here because there's a lot of extra room but for the chain cleaning process I usually keep it in the park position but uh, in order to get the full range of motion with the pedals I have to have some room for that so that's why I put the wheel outside the tub but you can definitely, if you're cleaning the bike, you can definitely keep the wheel inside the tub if you don't uh, want to risk getting anything on your floor. Now, the items you're going to need are, you're going to need some sort of little scrubby brush. You're going to need a uh, Park Cyclone Chain Scrubber. This is made by Park Tool. It is uh, available in most bicycle shops. This basically is a, a, a little scrubber that will you know get all the grit and dirt off your chain to give you an idea what the inside of this thing looks like if you undo the uh, little things here and you pull off the top of this you'll notice that it has this little rotating brush little brush and then some foam so basically you put some cleaner in here and I'm gonna show you what kind of cleaner we use in a minute and then you put this around your chain like so and then you close the top, the lid, which has got another little scrubby brush on it. 
while you're rotating your tires, the chain will be running through here, this little scrubby brush, and it will be cleaning the chain off. This is what you use, it's called the park tool. This is a, a bicycle chain cleaning fluid. So on this, it has a fill level right here. This is where you fill the fluid till. So basically what I do is I'll try to put this in here so I don't get any of this fluid on the floors. I don't know whether this is gonna stain or not. And then what I'll do is I'll put some of this fluid in here. And I'll fill it up until it gets to the top of that line. Now, what you're gonna have to do is put it somewhere, and I like right here because it's, oh, it's more than open, and you will put this chain scrubber in between that, like so. So um, then you're gonna to wanna to put the top part on this thing. So you just strap the top part on to the whole, oh, I got it backwards. You strap the whole top part on and you clamp it together like that. And now your chain is totally enclosed in this. Let the tensioner work with you. You could pull this up quite a bit if you need to to gain some access and clearance. Or you could do this in an unfolded position, but I just happen to be uh, cleaning this chain in a folded position, so you might want to pull up on the chain if you absolutely have to to get some clearance. Then what you're going to want to do is basically pedal this thing. Maybe moving all the obstructions out of your way. I usually give a good... Uh, couple times what happens is when those brushes rotate they uh, they pick up that uh, cleaning fluid and they you know pretty much saturate the chain and the little brushes will also pull the uh, grime and the grease off the chain as well now once you're finished with this then you could separate the two halves you can see how the chain fits in there and as it rotates it, it like scrubs it from the side and and then those br bristles down here get in between the links so it's a really cool little item i forget how much i paid for this but um, i bought it a while ago to clean the chains on my bicycles because obviously cleaning the chains on your bicycle is very very important <laughs> so after this is done that's where the pressure sprayer is going to come back into play and we are going to clean off and where the little brush comes in is getting between these jockey wheels. Sometimes you want to kind of clean in between these jockey wheels. Sometimes you might want to lift the chain up and clean in between there and get all the grit and grime out of that because the chain holder doesn't really, the chain cleaner doesn't really get the jockey wheels and the, and the, uh, and the gears. So basically if you want to get all the grime off of that, you would uh, just clean the gears off with a hard bristled brush. And then you see all the grease that is coming off of this thing. But basically, we'll clean all of the grease off of the chain. So look how clean that chain is, guys. I mean, it's it looks brand new. So after all the grease is cleaned off, after you got everything all cleaned up here, and you let it dry, then you can reapply your lube to your chain. But um, I'm going to take this out of here and I'm gonna put it all on the towel. I'm gonna to empty this. And see this grease right here is the reason why a lot of people do not wanna you know, do this procedure in their bathtub. And I understand that, okay? It's, it is greasy. But if you have a stainless steel sink to empty this in, or even if you have to put it in a container and empty it outside uh, in a bin, or wherever you happen to empty it. I put it in the drain in my bathtub. I'm not worried about it. Cleaning all the grime and dirt off of your bicycle. Very, very important. We all know this, okay? And a lot of us neglect this because we really don't have a place to do it. And that's what I'm saying about the Brompton. It is so freaking nice, man. You could just put it in a tub and you can clean it all off. But anyway, that is how I keep my Brompton clean, guys. In dry areas like where I'm at, I recommend maybe once a week cleaning it. I definitely recommend cleaning the chain once a week. So I go ahead and do the whole bike once a week. And like I said, unless it's really snowy out or well, unless it rained and then I'm, I'll clean it that day. Two hours later. 
I'm gonna do a little grade school Indian style set. Okay guys, I went out for a bike ride and um, just kind of rode the trails a little bit. Pretty enjoyable. I came back here, I think my bike is uh, completely dry. It looks perfectly clean. I might have missed a couple spots here and there. Nothing a little spot wiping can't do. Um, now what I would do after it's completely dry is I would definitely lube the chain up because I took off most if not all the grease on it when I cleaned the chain. So the two types of lubes that I'm a big fan of are T9. I use that during the summertime, which I'm about out. I'm gonna have to get some more of this stuff. And the next one is this Muck Off Dry Lube. I love this stuff, man. It's great. It got different levels of protection. Um, this stuff I use during the winter time when there's a lot of, gr you know, just gunk that gets on your bicycle chain. So especially when it's wet and moist out, this is definitely the stuff to use. What you do, you open up your little bottle of lube and then you put a drop on each of these little you put a drop on each of the little links i put too much on there because i'm trying to do this one-handedly and it's not working out very well but anyway that's what you do and uh, you do that all the way around the chain one time and you're good to go again and your chain is lubed up and you're ready to ride again until you get your bike dirty again and have to do this all over again which it's all which it's a never-ending process so anyway that's how i clean my brompton bicycle uh I keep this baby all nice and lubed and clean and ready to roll for the next time and hopefully it'll last a long, long time. If you guys have any comments or questions, leave it down in the comment questions section. Slap a like on the video if you like it or you felt it helped you in any way and I will talk with you tomorrow. Bye-bye.